Okay, we're going to go over worksheet nine in CAN and Limbus fundamentals. Uh, I've got a system up and running, um, and there are six electronic control units and six circuits. And what we're going to look at in this particular worksheet is how OBD2 scanners work and how fault codes can give uh, vehicle technicians a clue as to what the fault in a car is. Um, so what we're going to do is we are going to remove the power line to the rear ECU. Now what happens is the gateway, which is the main unit in the system, every few seconds it interrogates each ECU to make sure it's still there. And what you can see is that um, in that cycle, um, it has detected that the rear ECU is no longer there, so a fault light has come on. Now, what we can do is we can then use the um, uh, OBD2 scan tool to first of all read the codes and it says that the code is U0145 lost communication with body control module right um, so we've read the code uh, that's given us a clue to what the problem is so now we can put the power back into the uh, ECU now as with all real vehicles the fault is still there, so the uh, the garage will know that there has been a fault at some time. The vehicle is probably working again now, and what you need to do is release the fault with the OBD2 scan tool. So here it says erase codes, uh, and we confirm that the code should be erased, and now the fault light has gone off. Now the interesting thing, of course, is that one fault code can relate to several different types of fault. So if we remove the actual CAN bus from the rear ECU, then what you'll find is in a few seconds, the fault will register. Um, and we can now interrogate uh, the system as to what the code is. And you'll find that it's exactly the same fault code. So fault codes are great at giving people a clue as to what's going on, but they don't uh, inform automotive technicians of the exact nature of the fault. And so that's one kind of fault. Um, going back to this worksheet, let's look at another kind of fault. So in this system, the manufacturers have deemed that um, making sure that the brake lights are working properly is a really important thing for this vehicle to do. So you can see when I press the brake switch on the powertrain, the lights come on. Now what we've got is um, we've got a 120 ohm resistor in series with the brake light. Um, and so that allows us to measure the voltage uh, or effectively the current going through a bulb. So if the bulb has gone and I've removed it and we press the brake pedal again, the fault light has come on because it's detected that the bulb is blown. So again, what we can do, I can put that back in. It's functioning again now, um, but the error is still logged. So we go back to the scan tool. Um, we can read the code. In this case, the code is C1223 and it says manufacturer control. So there's a, a manufacturer specific error there. Um, it knows there is a problem, but in this case, the scan tool hasn't given you much information and what you're going to have to do is look that code up as far as the particular vehicle you're, you're working on is. So that's a, another example of how the system can be used to detect faults, but also it shows you that to some extent, scan tools give you a clue, but they're quite limited as to the amount of information they can give you. So this worksheet uh, works through quite a number of faults that the system uh, um, can detect and point out. And it also points out some of the circuitry inside a CAN bus that allows uh, self-diagnosis to take place. Okay, thank you.